What up guys, it's boy Jose, and today is a really gloomy day, like it's freaking nasty outside. Hey. Ran out of e-juice, I'm actually going to get in my car, go out, go to the vape shop, get my e-juice, and along the way, hopefully I'm going to pick up some Pokemon. Pokemon Go is on, it's live right now in the States. I started playing with it a little bit around the block, but I was like, I really don't want to be walking around in the hood trying to catch Pokemon. That's how you get Poke Rock, bro. Rocket Team here is real, it's too real, and I'm not trying to be walking around and be like, oh, I think I got a Pikachu, oh, this and that, be like, Yo, where your money at? Run those chains. Mm-mm, not about that life. Everyone in my block are all my homies, but still though, like, really? Like, know what I mean? They're not about that life. They're not about that Pokemon life. Oh. Oh. What the? Yo, Pokemon spazzing right now. It wants me to go inside the little jungle area. For real though, I'm not trying to get robbed up in that notch. Who made this? Like, it says Pokemon Brook Park. Yeah, so it's part of the Pokemon place. But at the same time, that's like one of those places where you will get robbed. Why would, why would they put like a little spot where you pick up fish at? Like, that don't make no sense, but. Hmm. What? Oh! I got more Pokemon. So I got two bags. Hard to see for me. You could flip the screen up. How? What I'm saying is, in that view. I told you it's going to rain. I love it when it rains. I like the train in the rain. Oh! About a memorial? Yes! I think you could keep on coming back as much as you want. You have to leave the area. Yo, that's why I think if it wasn't raining, I would have gone to Soho. <laughs> so there's a spot right here. You know what I just realized? I realized that if you leave one area and you come back to it, you can still collect things, man. Yes. And you turn it, and you pick up. Yes. But there's no Pokemon around the area. No Pokemon around the area. Go home. Yes. Buy some water Pokemon. Facts. <laughs> oh, get some water Pokemon. Nah, but we are coming back home. I picked up my little bro, bro with his super dope shirt and his super loud um, shirt. Um, super loud book bag. That draws mad attention. Like I, would, like I always have be like, yo, it's a bad idea to walk into the hood with the ish. And we kind of broke that rule today. They, they play music all the time in the hood. No, no, no. I'm talking about like me Pokemoning. Oh, it's because you're Pokemoning. And yeah. You, and you got a fresh white t-shirt, a haircut, and you wearing sandals. People yeah. wear sandals. Sandals. No, not not everybody in the hood wears sandals. They yeah, but you, you gotta run. And, but you, you said like, I look fat. I look fat. I look basic, my G. No, you don't look basic. Like, sometimes the simple, simplicity person is simplicity. the one that, that has the most money. Gotta like, keep it simple. Like, they didn't come to me. They didn't come to me because the idea is, in my face, I, I look very, very rugged. And I come and train all the time. And they probably know you. They probably, yeah, see me. And know me. I don't want to be confrontational whatsoever so it's no problem for me but for you since you look like you're fresh and brand new with your haircut i didn't get a haircut so haircut, old i need to get a haircut a fresh Monday. white yeah a, literally a fresh white t-shirt gotta be, gotta keep it clean not a fresh white t-shirt and a fresh haircut it says a lot of things yeah but you always said that it's hard for me to try to even blend in it's hard you used to say you like those cool you stick out yeah and that too plus we're asian yeah, I stuck out. No. Asian persuasion, my G. Asian We're the persuasion. new exotic. Filipino is that, exotic. Is that the new exotic? I don't know, but you don't see that much Filipinos around. Well, you do see them, but they're running their own little packs. So far, and as being as minorities in the hood, so we're, it's like we're a double minority. Yo, word. Like, like, yeah. like I have like Filipino friends, but I can't relate to them. I can't relate to them for a lot of reasons. I can't relate to them because like. 
you can't lie, King. A lot of Filipinos are sheltered within the Filipino community, within the Filipino circle. My mom and dad's like it's a cultural difference. Yeah, they no, you know. but they're they're it seems like they're more Americanized than us though. No, uh, I'm not trying to say that. I'm trying to say there's a cultural difference, like like in Philippines everybody talks about each other. Other countries as well too talk about each other as well too. And I'm not I'm not gonna front on that. You know, everybody talks about each other. But for us, we don't really talk about each other, let alone from our culture as well too. Yeah, that that's my mom. Mom's like this. Talking about me, that that I don't need you in my circle. Yeah, mom like that. She don't, she, she she don't, don't like, like gossiping. Drama. She don't like the uh, cheese smith. The she cheese smith. She don't like cheese smith. The word of the day is cheese smith. Cheese, cheese smith is literally the sports of a lot of Filipinos. Yeah. It's a national Filipino sport other than boxing. Cheese smith. If you know, if you want to know what that is, gossiping. A lot of Filipinos gossip. That's facts. Triple yeah. facts. It's sad, but it's facts. And we're not talking about the females, like the girls too. Like guys, too. guys do it a lot. Too. They they talk a lot of biznatches. Like they act all biznatchy. They act very plastic. That's another Filipino term. Not, that all, Fili- not all. Filipinos. Not all, but not a lot Filipinos. of Filipinos act plastic. Well, they'll they'll be like, "Hey, what up, best friend?" And after behind your back, they'll be like, "Yo, f that, that." wing oh but yeah they'll be like oh yeah da, 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 you guys make a cute couple the next thing behind your back they try to get with your girl triple facts there's no loyalty that's why that's why as for me and for my brother we roll one deep one deep because you could be you be your own team and the people that come through with you is because they circulate and they are magnetized by your own energy yeah but with yeah. filipino circle in the filipino circle no i don't really have that much filipino friends and I don't really mind because of the fact like Filipino like I don't know it just they isolate themselves too much. A lot of Filipinos really isolate themselves. In but how ironic is it that we're in a car right cruel. now? Cruel. What? Why? Isolation in the car. <laughs> we I see. We just came from Pokemon. You see? Go. Nah, but like you know what I'm talking about. Like that's why I was like yo. A lot of Filipinos are sheltered within the isolation of Filipino groups. Like. I mean, that's... It's, uh, like, as in... No, but it's bad. Like, as in, like... They just interact within the circle. The only time they interact with outside races... Yeah. Are when they're in school. But after school, they just stick within each other. And, like... I don't know. Yeah. You know, no, but you remember back... But back in the days... Back in the, back day, in the days... The when we first you came to, here, we were... Yeah, back in the days, we own. were the minority. Like, there was no Filipino. Like, now, mm-hmm. if you go down school, the street... Bro. If you go down the street, there's, like, a little Filipino circle. Yeah. And that's what I'm talking about, the little group, because they all grouped up together. Like, down the street, down the street, down Van Cortland, there's, like, mad Filipinos in that small little building because they're all stuck... But you Us, we're, block, we're stuck around here. We're in the block. We're like in the intersection. Yeah, so legit, like, well, I don't know about Kim, but I was bullied. I was bullied a little bit too. until right, later right, on. I, I fought arms. one of the kids and like that. The next night, another kids like noticed yeah, you that. Had to, you had to earn that respect. Then that's how I earned it. Like, yo, this kid is real. Because I was like, yo, after, I'm tired of you pushing me around. I'm tired of be like freaking because I'm different. This and that. We're like the minorities and the minorities. Like, I mean, I know there's like a Filipino family up the street, which I didn't even know. Like, I didn't even know they live there because they're in the suburbs, suburbs, like in the houses area. So we're like legit. We're like down here around this area and they're up there. And the way we are between each other is completely different. The way we, I don't know, the it's, way we were brought just, up is completely different. Yeah, the way we were like how we were raised, man. Raised, yeah. but it was Pinoy pride. If you got, you got to think about like this, right? If you're a minority and you go to another country and you're not comfortable with everything outside, you gotta stick with your minority. Yeah. Until you understand other cultures, then you can broaden the horizon idea that facts that you don't have to be afraid of that, but you have to be aware. Of stereotypes as well too. Yeah. The same idea of the stereotypes of other cultures, you gotta think about the stereotypes that they think about on yourself. All types of facts. Because because we live with being being called chink. Yeah, chincha makahaya. Yo, I remember they used to say. That's how I got my first fight. Chincha makahaya. We used to fight on a regular. Oh baby, they'd be like, Yo, what are you? You're Filipinas. What this? No, I'm Filipino. Bam! Got into a fight. Fight, fight here, fight, fight there. Then next because, door, because later on, they were like, like... Is that is that what your 
Is that what your girl said? Oh, yo, you know what? <laughs> no, though, you no, know no, like, no, what no, pissed no, me no, off the no, most no, is no, when they used no. to be like, oh, <laughs> who let this? What part of China is that? What the it's, what? It's just ignorance. And that, that's just ignorance. It's, it's but there's ignorance, some of them, you know? they're just a holes. Like, they just, they just piss. They try to piss you off, but like everyone my block, like before, somewhere down the line, everyone in my neighborhood, we all used to have problems with each other because we were different. But over time, they're like my homies. Yeah. Well, but the just, ones that's not locked up, but it's, like. It's but this young mind, generation though. It's still in your mind. Though, yeah. Though. It's still in your mind. But this young generation though, uh, I don't know yeah, what like, I don't you know, know what's going on with this new generation. But like, I would think that they would know better because my generation. Most of us are like most of them are locked up. Most of us are locked up, locked up, shot up, or they just moved out, which is the smartest move that a good amount of them did. They just moved out because I live in an intersection house and they live in a hood hood, like deep, like it's weird because we're like right there, but our environment, but yeah. we always related because our parents worked a lot and their parents worked a lot and we were just family. Yeah. We're like we're yo. I miss everyone. Yeah, but the career that we that we yeah the the into gives us the opportunity. Yeah, yeah. That, know, that's one and, thing and too. That that's what connection is and well. that's one reason yeah. why I really emphasize on that. Like people from the hood, like the opportunities because yeah. I know my parents did a lot and they had opportunities and my homies. They're good people, but they don't have the opportunity, and they're doing it because they don't have any other opportunity but that, which is why I think instead of incarcerating individuals that are struggling, doing whatever it means to survive. Incarcerating. Incar incarcerated. Incarcerating, yeah. Like, doing whatever it means, as in selling, hustling, or doing whatever, you need to rehabilitate them and give them jobs. Stop locking them up. It's so stupid. Because they're gonna come out and they're gonna do the same ish over and over, and it's gonna be worse because jail changes you. Jail literally cuts; it, it takes out opportunities, and it it don't help. It just makes the situation a crap load more difficult, where they really don't have a choice. And I see my homies, and that's my homies. Like we grew up within each other, like. And I know they're doing that because they don't have no other means. But this new generation, though, this new generation is freaking, I don't know what the F is wrong with them because again, their not, parents is not, spoiling the crap again, out of them. Not, not all, not everybody. Not everybody, again. but like, there's a good amount of younger generations that don't know what the F they're doing because they're getting spoiled as F by their parents and they're still hustling. I'm like, why are you doing that? You're trying to get a record so you could be stuck here? Yeah. Maji, do you know how many of my homies? A lot of my homies regret getting records because when you get a record, you can't. You're not eligible for financial aid, and that's bullshit. Facts, all types of facts, facts, facts. Eyes before you was just mag. I'm the shit, bitch, because I'm black flag. Yes, sir, the DR's the new squad. You niggas mars the squad. We go hard. They like, oh God, they go T double. He got his click and his brother. I know it's gonna be. Yeah.